Hey guys, today we're on lesson 10.1. We're talking about linear inequalities in two variables, and we're going to start with task one. All right, so we're going to graph linear inequalities in standard form. If you remember, we worked with linear equations, and standard form is ax plus by equals c. All right, so inequalities that can be written in one of the following five forms are called linear inequalities in two variables. All right, so ax plus by equals c is standard form. The only difference with an inequality is it's not equal to, okay? So it's going to be less than, less than or equal to, greater than, or greater than or equal to. All right, and then if it has, this is kind of weird right here, but if it has, um, an equal sign with the slash through it, that means not equal. Okay, so this means not equal. So an inequality can be less than, less than or equal to, greater than, or greater than or equal to. All right, so here A, B, and C are real numbers, and A and B are not both zero. So one or the other can be zero, but they can't both be zero at the same time. All right, a solution to an inequality in two variables is an ordered pair that makes the inequality true. All right, so that's important. We're going to be using those. We're going to be using ordered pairs to check to see if things, if points are solutions or not. All right, you can represent solutions of an inequality with a graph and manipulate inequalities much like you manipulate equations. Consider an inequality in standard form, such as 2x plus 3y less than or equal to 12. All right, so if we had an equation, 2x plus 3y equals 12, you know that we could substitute 0 in for x and then substitute 0 in for y, and we can find our two intercepts. Well, that's what they've done here to graph this line, okay? So they did that, and that represents the equation 2x plus 3y equals 12. Now, we want to graph less than or equal to 12, okay? So it says, are the points on the line graphed here solutions of the inequality? 2x plus 3y less than or equal to 12, okay? So the answer is yes. Because it's less than or equal to, um, then the line is included. All the points on the line are equal to 12. Okay, so let's look at just the intercepts to check that. So if we have 2x plus 3y is less than or equal to 12, and we want to know if these are true. So here we've got 0, 4. So I'm going to put um, 0 in for x. And then if I solve 4y, That gives me less than or equal to 4. So 0, 4 is less than or equal to 4. And if we do the same thing with this intercept, we're going to plug 0 in for y instead. So we're going to have um, 2x plus 3 times 0. Is that less than or equal to 12? So this cancels. Divide by 2. x is less than or equal to 6. So 6, 0 equals 12 as well. So every point on this line um, would be equal to 12. So it would be less than or equal to 12. All right, so let's compare the table showing whether the given point satisfy the inequality or not. Enter your responses as capital letters T or F. All right, so we're going to tell if these are true or false. Now, we can look at the graph and see everything below the line should be less than. Everything above the line is greater than, but they want us to check these points. So A, B, C, D, and here's E, F, G, H is below the line. So they want us to just substitute ordered pairs in to check. All right, so the first point is negative 1 and 6.5. So they just plugged in the X and the Y. Again, that's point A, okay? So you can see it's like negative 1 and then up 6.5. All 
All right, so if you plug that in, that's going to be, this is like 19 and a half minus 2. So that's definitely not less than 12. So we can put false for this one. This one's 0 plus 15. 15 is greater than 12, so this one is false as well. 8 plus 6 is 14, so that one's false as well. And then 12 and 12 is 24, so that one is false as well. Now we've got negative 2 minus 3. So that's negative 5. Negative 5 is less than 12, so this one's true. And this is negative 2 plus 6. 6 minus 2 is 4. That's less than 12. And then this is going to be a negative number plus 2. That's definitely less than 12. I'm not going to do the math, but I can just tell that's less. And then this is 10 plus 0. 10 is less than 12, so that one is true as well. All right, so the top, A through D, is false, and E through H is true. So you can see all of the points above the line provided false, and these all provided true. That means these are solutions to the inequality. All right, in the table, you identified four solutions to the inequality. How can you shade? How can you use shading on the graph to show all solutions of the inequality? All right, so if I want to show all solutions of the inequality, I'm going to shade everything in the green area. So, well, let's see. Let's try to use a highlighter. Maybe I can do a better job. Okay, so I'm going to shade everything below the line. Is everything less than or equal to... 2x plus 3y. Okay. All right. That is all. Oh, I moved my graph there. That's all for task one. If you have any questions, let me know. All right. We're going to continue with lesson 10.1, and this is task two. This time we're going to look at linear inequalities in two variables using slope-intercept form. All right. A half plane is part of a coordinate plane on one side of a line. This line, which divides the coordinate plane into two half planes, is called the boundary line. The graph of a strict greater than inequality or a strict less than inequality does not include points on its boundary line. To represent the exclusion of those points, draw the boundary line with dashes. Okay, so a solid line in the last example included the boundary line, and this time a dotted line or a dashed line does not include these points in the solution. So you can see that this is just greater than and not greater than or equal to. All right, it says point P, negative 2, negative 1, and point negative 3, negative 3 lie on the line in the graph. For each point listed in this table, determine whether it is it is relative to this line and label it. All right, so points that satisfy the inequality. So we're going to look at each point and decide whether it's above the line, on the line, or below the line. So negative 2, 0. If I go to negative 2, 0, that is going to be below the line. Negative 2, 1, negative 2, 1. Wait a minute, I'm looking at the wrong points here. Let's see if this is 2, 1, this is negative 1, negative 2 here. So negative 2, 1 is above the line. 2, 0 is also above the line. I was looking at 1 instead of 2. I thought they were going by 2, so we better change this one. So this one is above the line, and this one is above the line. And negative 2, 2, negative 2, 2 is definitely above the line. Negative 3, negative 2, negative 3, negative 2 is still above the line. Negative 3, negative 1, that is above the line. 
and negative 3, 0. That one is also above the line. All right, so all of those points were above the line. So based on your answers to part A and B, what can you conclude about all such points that lie vertically above the boundary line? These points are part of the solution of the inequality. These points are the entire solution. Well, any points above that line would be the solution, so it has to be this one. These points together with the points on the line. Okay, so the points on the line are not included this time because it is a dashed line. So the first answer is correct. All right, choose the word to best complete the statement. To show all solutions to the inequality y greater than 2x plus 3, you need to shade the half plane above the line. All right, so what does the half plane of points below the line represent? That would represent, so if this is everything greater than that, so the points below the line would represent less than. All right, pick a point in the unshaded half plane and use it to confirm your answers for part E. So if I picked a point below the line, let's say 0, 0, and I plug that in, 0 times 2 is 0, 0 plus 3 is 3, 0 greater than 3. That is false, so that would not be in the solution. But if we reverse the inequality, which is the one down here, I guess, so I did it backwards. So it would be um, 0 less than 3, and that would be true. So to check this one, I should have plugged it in this inequality instead of the one above. So that shows that it is true. The graph shows a dashed boundary line and both half planes shaded. Which inequality does it represent? All right, so less than would just be showed, sh shaded below. And this one says y not equal to. So the dashed line shows that the points on the line are not part of the solution, but everything above and below is. So this represents y not equal to 2x plus 3. All right, so if we want to go back up here, let's go back up here and shade this inequality. To make it look like the inequality instead of just the boundary line. So it says consider an inequality in slope intercept form such as y greater than 2x plus 3. So we checked all the points in the table, but it didn't tell us to shade. But for greater than or greater than or equal to, it can be strictly greater than, like this one, or greater than or equal to, it's going to be above the line. So this is below the line, this is above the line. So that would be all the points that represent that solution. All right, that's all for task two. If you have any questions, please let me know.